Jesus will be honored and glorified as you praise him and you'll never see shame again. Lord, breathe upon your word this morning and let no one return without an encounter with you. In Jesus' precious name. It's my year of breaking limits. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and please you may be comfortably seated. Can you help me congratulate your neighbors to your right and to your left? See what the Lord has done. See the multitudes in his house this morning. Celebrate him. Amen. It's very important for us to be aware of where we are so as to maximize the blessings they are in. And so this morning, I'll be sharing with us on understanding what is unique about this church. What is unique about this church? Numbers chapter 35 and verse 11 and 12. Numbers 35, 11 and 12. Then ye shall appoint you cities to be cities of refuge for you that the slayer may flee thither which killeth any person unawares. And they shall be unto you cities of refuge from the avenger that the man slayer die not until he stand before the congregation in judgment. That was God's commandment through Moses that cities of refuge be appointed among his people. Where you flee to for cover against the assault of the avenger And he said, I am the Lord, I change not. Malachi 3, 6. And that's why ye seeds of Jacob are not destroyed. So God still has cities of refuge on earth today. And this is evidently one of such places. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Someone was bound hand and feet and brought him from Cote d'Ivoire because of insanity. And he has been under that for 20 years. As they passed through the main gate for Shiloh 2018, he breathed a sigh of relief and all the demons left. After 20 years of insanity. This is evidently one of such cities of refuge on the earth. Evidently, they brought a lady from Taiwan, and this lady had been under some severe assault of demon forces. And so, they put her outside there, and Jesus loosed her in the course of the praise. And that was the end of the assault. I can tell you this. This is not by any man's skill. It is by divine appointment that this church has proved to be one of God's cities of refuge. The first miracle here at Shiloh 1999 was a lady who had been crippled for 23 years. It wasn't prayed over. Something like moisture came from the roof, dropped on her body, and she stood. She turned 60 2017 and came here on her two feet. She's a deaconess in one of our churches in Abuja, I mean, in Benin. 
This is evidently one of those cities of refuge you run into for cover. Evidently one. They deported a man from Germany. The mother is a member of the church because he could not desiccate. Every effort to make him desiccate didn't work. So he was brought home and as he was entering through the hope wing foyer, toilet, please, where's the restroom? Where's the restroom? Yeah. That was the end of the plague. Come and give the Lord praise. Yeah. Amen. So you are not here by chance. You are here by divine ordination. And what that means is that no chain of the wicked is permitted to survive in your life. These are the raw acts of God. They are not the smartness of man or the skill of some team of people. This is just God at work. And we give him all the glory. This is just God at work, and we give him all the glory. In 2 Samuel chapter 7 and verse 10, I will appoint a place for my people Israel, and I will plant them that they may dwell in the place of their own and move no more, neither shall the children of the wickedness afflict them anymore as before time. Every member of this great commission is ordained to be exempted from what afflicts others. And so, you are not going to have any negative experience that you used to have anymore. I will appoint a place. So God has places appointed to stop the children of wickedness from afflicting his people. And this is evidently one of such places. They shall move no more so they can keep away, away from the children of wickedness and live their life to the full. And that shall be your experience. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Secondly, God's presence. Has continued to make a difference in this church. Through the mystery of high praises. Since inception till now. And that is what makes this church a home of signs and wonders. God dwells in the midst of the praise of his people. And this is not just a praying church, we are, but a praising church. And that has helped us to harbor divine presence, which is what results in signs and wonders and diverse miracles. Jesus came and went about doing good, healing all them that were oppressed with the devil, because God was with him. And in Mark chapter 16, verse 20, the Bible says that they went forth and preached everywhere. God also walking with them, confirming the word with signs following. God with a people is the reason for the eruption. Of signs and wonders. Remember, who is like unto thee, O God, who is like thee. You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises, doing wonders. Exodus 15, numbers 11. God does wonders in the midst of praises. Not just wonders, fearful wonders in the midst of praise. Fearful wonders in the midst of praise. Hallelujah. The good news is, you have found yourself in the right place. 
and no devil will rob you of God's package for you in this place. Well, the thought on what is unique about this church, the liberation mandate itself validates the city of refuge status of this church. Remember what God said to me some 39 years ago, it will be 40 next year. When I saw an array of humanity groaning and agonizing for rescue, and I began groaning. When you go to a money house, a house of money, you don't have to uh, have the gift of money. You just start crying when they are crying. I was crying and sobbing, asking why. Why this horrible open vision? I wasn't asleep. And the Lord said to me, from the beginning, it was not so. And I said, but why? And then he landed the mandate. And now the hour has come. To liberate the world from all oppressions of the devil through the preaching of the word of faith, and I'm sending you to undertake this task. So, this commission is ordained to wipe tears away from the face of men. And that's what we have been having. That's what establishes our city of refuge status as a church. Awesome God. At Chilo 2019. A child died and they brought him to our church, one of our centers in Kogi State. First night, first night, as the world went forth from Canaan land, via life transmission, life hit the dead child and came back to life on this spot. <laughs> Jesus stopped the tears of the parents. You, are, you must have heard that we have over 150 VN centers in Lagos. No excuse. Everybody has unlimited opportunity to be a bona fide partaker of the power of God at Shiloh 2020. Amen. Everybody. What could travel from here to um, Kogi State will reach you in uh, Oshodi. <laughs> Easily, isn't it? It will reach you effectively in Nigeria. It will almost blow your ear in the Kenya. <laughs> now, what travels from here to India? To India? To change story? Will reach you anywhere you are? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What got out of here to Japan and liberated a dying soul? Will reach you anywhere? Yes, sir. God still has cities of refuge on the earth today. And this church, by the grace of election, is evidently one of such cities. Amen. <laughs> evidently. Get what I said? By the grace of election. Not by capacity. Not by strength. Not by giftings. Not by experience. By the grace of election, this church is evidently one of such. A young man came in here under a siege to Shiloh and lay down with his wife and woke up in the morning to find two dead boys under their pillow and the siege came to an end. Well, Shiloh is just here. We are going to be demonstrating again the city of refuge status of this commission worldwide. Come and give the Lord praise. We needed to go this route in all our churches today. Reason, so that people will not be counting experience, but be walking by knowledge. Yes, sir. Everything that works thrives on knowledge. Yes, you need to know where you are so you can maximize what things are there for you. Yes, sir. Amen. You are not permitted to weep what, on what makes others weep. Because your case is different. <laughs> now hear me. No one here among us will suffer untimely death. <laughs> when David ran for cover under the prophetic ministry of Samuel, there was no ambition of the king that could get him. The first 
a mystery turned to prophet. He started prophesying. Second one began to prophesy. Someone said, I will go by myself. What nonsense. God stripped him naked. He prophesied all night. I surrender all. Anyone looking for you on that discovery will be humiliated. Kabio si baba. Ireni unishe yan. Dan sakire. We praise you, Lord. You are worthy. Awesome God. Somebody was about committing suicide last week. His two brothers had died of suicide. And then Jesus met him in one of our churches and gave his life to Christ. And slept one evening and saw four people, black all out with black mask, and had two ropes, bound them hands and feet. Jesus, deliver me. They were looking. God of my father, Bishop David, will deliver me. Then he woke up. And so the four demons, the four people left. And found the rope on the floor. Life. Life. Not last year, this week. Now listen. Whatever may have bound any area of your life is broken right now. Amen.